Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're going to see polar opposites in terms of philosophies in this game. And when you want to pass the ball all the time, move quickly, sometimes facing a team that's based in a ground-oriented time of possession attack can be very frustrating. You get antsy. You get too eager to make plays. Can they maintain their concentration if they don't get the ball as often as they're used to? We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Across the 30. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. Final game for these seniors on their home field. Some will get to the next level and play some more football. Others, they'll be putting the helmet on for the final time. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And down he goes at about the 49. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 49. Wants to throw outside. Catches it. He's tackled at about the 19-yard line. Boy, this is a huge play by the offense, and I got to go back to what the defense dialed up. They brought pressure, which means the offensive line's got to do a good job of communicating to give the quarterback enough time to be able to make the throw, and they did exactly that. They protected him, gave him the time that he needed, and he was able to take advantage of it. First and 10. Ball on the 19. Gains his way to the 10 yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That brings up second and one. the extra point a four play 63 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff Roberts takes it at the 12 and he's tackled at the 33 and there's a penalty on the play let's see who it's on holding, holding. receiving team That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Throws complete. He's got space to work, and he's taken down at the 27-yard line. Second and five. Ball on the 27-yard line. He's 
He's taken down at the 43. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 43. the catch and gets out of bounds. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. That's a deep second. That makes it second and two. guys that are near the top statistically and that's no exception today we're really looking forward to watching this kid play from the 18 yard line first down Gets to about the 11 yard line. Third down. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. They'll drop in for a loss. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. it up and it's good even though they gave up a field goal here that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now it could have just as easily been a touchdown looks like they're ready for the kick he just drills this one this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback they got into the end zone last time let's see if they can match that on this possession New Mexico is up four. Coley on the handoff. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a deep five on the way. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on their own 30. Throws, and it's incomplete. Great instinctive timing by the corner to deflect the pass. That's just really solid coverage skills. Slings it. And he shoved out of bounds around the 33-yard line. Goodman is waiting for the snap. Oh, what a hit. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. 
You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Quick throw out to the receiver, and they make the stop right around the 48-yard line. About six yards on that completion. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. They're about four yards away here on second down. Hang on, everybody, because it looks like they came ready to play today. 7-3, Lobo. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Three down, three down. Under pressure. Once and all, going deep. Can't make the grab. Vesquez was the intended receiver on the play. They're about four yards away here on third down. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32. the 19. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. From the 15-yard line, it's second down. Two down, two down. Mike nine. Mike nine. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. He's under pressure, and he's going to be sacked. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quickly incomplete. Third and goal for the lead. End zone. Fires quickly and they got it. Touchdown. pass to defend and it goes for six yep the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time so the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point and he hits the PAT a nine play 57 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown Idaho Yet set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he 
He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 24. in the middle brought down at the 30 number 55 on the tackle at the 30 yard line third down He picks up a yard on the play. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Idaho holds a field goal lead. And he's hit immediately. First and 10, ball on the 47. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes around the 23-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten to go. Ball in the 23. He's immediately tackled. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Got him. And he goes down quickly. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch. That's fun to see. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Gets out to about the 15-yard line. No gain on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. Kicks away, and it is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Gets out to around the 38. Very well designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. From their own 38-yard line, first down. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it, as it should be the last play before the half. Throws it deep. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. Well, we're headed to halftime now, and we're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. Idaho's lead is six.
by Reese David. Thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Roberts takes it to 12, and he has it on the corner. Across midfield. And they bring him down at the 30. They're set to go for another round. Idaho is up by six. He's got his man across the middle. He's tackled around the 18-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 18. on the extra point. A short three-play, 29-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now, 20-7. to seven. The Lobos had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one from his own goal line. Across the 30, and he's taken down at the 30-yard line. Idaho's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. And he's taken down around the 28-yard line. That brings up second and 13. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. Willis makes the tackle at the 36-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 45. This was a great call. From here, it looked like the defense was fooled and reacted a little bit late to the screen. From the 45-yard line, first down. He's taken down at the 35. That'll make it second and inches. Tackle around the 22 yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. He fights forward to about the 20. He 
gets out to about the 11 yard line. First down. This is the eighth play of this drive. He gets out to about the nine yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the nine yard line, second down. Gets to about the eight yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And he is drilled at the one. Here they go, first and goal, down by a couple of possessions. He tackles him for a loss. The halfback loses about one on the option. And this is the 12th play of the drive. And the goal line defense digging in here. And they make the stop at the two yard line. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. Touchdown, Lobos. And he converts the extra point. 13 play 70 yard drive and they put up seven points so the score now 20 to 14. goodman has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off roberts fields it at the 11 and he's shoved out of bounds at the 29 yard line the lobos have really surprised everybody in this football game they have not been intimidated at all which is great to see the attitude and effort of this team's put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half and that's it for quarter number three folks we got a great game on our hands 2014 idaho All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He's to the 40. Quick throw out to the receiver. From their own 42-yard line. First down, Idaho, up six. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Field. Makes it to the 44. From the 44 yard line, first down. Him hard at the 33 yard line. Right 
and makes his way out to about the 25. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's brought down in the open field. for the halfback. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 14-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Call again. Touchdown, Vandals. Well, they're going to try for the two point conversion. Turn it from the one. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Now he's scrambling, and he's tackled at the 29. Second and ten. Ball in the 29. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And down he goes. Right around the 36-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. He airs it out. Pulls it in, and he could score. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. That's a That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. Brought down at about the five-yard line. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. New Mexico will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. for extra yardage. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. New Mexico's going to have to use their second time out of the half. The defense backed up into their own end zone. It's third and goal from the one. Fires 
quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. Tackle made at the 38-yard line. Well, I'm sure Reese is having fun giving updates from this game to our other games going on today. We've had back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back scores. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Under a minute left in the game. Takes a knee. New Mexico's out of timeouts. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 40-yard line. Nice run to the outside. Makes it to the 35 yard line. And the ball game's over, and our final score of this one 28 21, Idaho. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.